Hello everyone, welcome to Wicked West Books. My name is Meg West. Happy Wednesday. We're going to give this one more shot. I'm going to try and do what I tried to put into action last year, which was doing things because they're making me happy. I'm not going to try to force myself to do videos when I'm not feeling it. And I'm not going to think, well, I took one day off, this might be the only break I get, so let's take two and then forget about it because of my ADHD and it's not right in front of me and I forget that it exists. We're going to try and find some middle ground. That That's my only actual goal for this, is just to find that middle ground. And I think a good way to start it off is to talk about me. Not specifically today, but longer. I would like to go through all of the big series that are on my bookshelves and talk about why I like them. Talk about the author, talk about the writing style, talk about the plot, the characters, even the reason I started reading the books because those are important memories to me and I think that that might be a good way for me to get back in front of the camera. I've got a lot of series to go through. Of course there's the obvious ones, there's Anne McCaffrey, there's Scott Westerfeld books, just almost barely out of frame here is Jonathan Stroud, Hamilton, there is uh, Patricia Briggs, and Bishop, both of those very important. Here there's the Garth Nix, you know, there's there's just a lot. Um, Sarah J Moss of course is on here, Pierce Brown a little lower down, Ink Heart is down on the bottom shelves. There's a trilogy that I thought I had unhauled. And of course there's stuff over here on this third bookshelf that is not in frame at all. That is like Brandon Sanderson, there's Kira Cass, there's R.A. Salvatore, there's a lot, okay? I've read a lot from a lot of different authors and I really just want to go through and really give you a thorough idea about the books that I read and like and why I like them and all of that. But today we're going to go over how I am going to be keeping track of the books that I read this year. I'm going to be using this oh so lovely, and I mean that lovely, it's gorgeous, um, reading journal that Book Bells has out for free at the time that I get it. I'm trying to keep the ring light out of the reflection. but. I'm going to go ahead and start the screen sharing so that you can actually get a better look at this without having to look at a tablet screen through um, my camera. So as you can see on your screen here, I'm looking down at my screen here. It's got an absolutely gorgeous cover. Love the butterflies, love the rich jewel tones, love the skull. It's, it's a great cover. And if we scroll to that next page, you have this index and everything throughout this reading journal is linked. So we're going to go to books read in 2022 and you can already see that I have a couple books that I have completed for this year. We're going to look a little closer at the first one very, very briefly. So Ice Planet Barbarians is the first book I read. As you can see, it's linked. You touch your cover, it takes you to your review of that page, and there's Lore Olympus. And on this final page is where we're going to go over it. You can add your book title, your book cover, the author, genre. I'm going to put as many genres as I feel necessary on each book. The date is published, the number of pages, the day you start reading it, the day you finish reading it, a synopsis, a review. There's plenty of space for a review. I haven't filled it up yet. Not the best at reviews though, so maybe you need more space. There's also a section at the bottom for notes. One of the primary things I'm going to use that for is to keep track of the names of the characters. Because I'm not good at keeping track of the names of the characters. The notes is a nice place for me to put the names of the characters. When you go on to the My Reading page and you've got each individual month that you can look at and it keeps track of your goal for how many books you read this month, your actual amount of books read this month, um, there's a place for your book of the month, and there's basically kind of just a habit tracker for how many pages that you read during a day. I'm going to go back a page because then you can go to the book of the month page. They're all in one spot. You can have this nice year view of your top 12 books of the year when you're done. There's a reading log, obviously, just keep track of 
the books that you're reading, it goes down to 120 books, so it can keep track of a lot of books. You can keep track, if you want to, of books you did not finish. If you borrow library books, you can keep track of those. Books on loan. If you let people read your books, not everyone does. Gone years between getting books back sometimes. But that's not necessarily going to stop me from giving out books. Um, and it's got this amazing few pages of new releases and it just has their release dates, their covers, they put some good detail and research into these. Obviously it's not going to be the whole year, which is why you also have a place to put track, to keep track of new releases that you are looking for. Pre-order so you can keep track of when you've ordered it and when it comes out, make sure you get your pre-orders. There's a couple pages for which wish list as well as a few pages for your to be read pile. I probably should go through that pile and add them in. If you're the kind of reader that likes to keep track of quotes, there are a good number of pages for you to keep track of the book quotes as you read them. They've also got a section for challenges. Read a book with the title A through Z. 25 books challenge, 50 books challenge, and 100 books challenge. It's just the 50 page doubled. And it's got a place for notes. So that is how I intend to keep track of my books. It is a PDF. You can print it out if you want to do a physical copy. I bought this tablet specifically to do bookish things on the tablet. So that's the only thing I am going to use it for um, is book related things. Reading through my Kindle app, keeping track of my books, and my other goal for the year is to finish writing a book. I participated in NaNo last year. I did not win NaNo last year, unfortunately. Um, my workload was a little bit heavy, but I really, really like that book idea, and I intend to finish the first draft and at least get a second draft this year. So we're going to try this again. I'm going to try talking to the camera and editing it again, and we'll see how it goes. If you're here, and you want to continue watching me go through my books on my shelf in detail, welcome. If that's not something you're interested in, that's okay. Primarily, I'm trying to make this something that I want to do for me so that I actually come back and do it on a regular basis. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're interested in sticking around, please feel free to subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. There's also a thumbs up button if you want to just let me know that you watched it. I would really appreciate any kind of engagement. If you have some goals for this year, go ahead and comment down below and let me know what those are. And I will see you hopefully next week. Have a wicked day.